Okay, today is all about the runner's knee, which is ITB syndrome. You've heard it a lot. Um, we're going to talk about how to release it and get some really good tricks of how to, to loosen up this ITB and the structures like the fascia connects everything together around that lateral quad right into the side of the knee. A lot of people are foam rolling their ITBs, which I'll show you a good tip on a moment, but they're not really getting in here where it's really needed, especially for those runners out there who get a bit of that lateral knee pain always creeping around the interior this is one for you guys so let's start with the foam roller now a lot of what's forgotten about the foam roller is where to do it and how much i see people just rolling up and down rolling up and down what you've got to aim for is you start above the hip okay you feel your hip bone there you start above it and that's in your tear valve Okay, the TFL, tense fascia lata, connects into the ITB. It's a strong little muscle. It's an angry little muscle, especially in runners, and that needs to be released off. I'll be trying to get your full body weight on that. And what you want to do is work on just gently rolling back and forth. Remember, this is mobilization, all right? So you need to be moving through the tissues, just like a physio or massage therapist would move through your tissues and mobilize your tissues. But you've also got to think, it's not just one direction. I want you going forward and back. And what people forget about is, what about rolling forward? So they go across the tissues as well, okay? So you can get stuck in and find that trigger point or find that area that's tight and sit there and hold it there for a bit and try and get some pressure release through there. So work on the TFL. It's a very missed muscle, okay? People just go for the ITB but you've got to think about muscles that are connected to it. And that includes glutes as well, which we'll come to in a minute. Then you pop over the greater trochanter, that bony point you feel, pop over that. There's no point rolling greater trochanter. And then get into the ITB there. And you'll feel that pressure straight away. Oh, there it is there. Now, to start with, what you can do is lift yourself off the roll. All right, so you, take, you almost take no pressure if you want to. It's too sore, it's too tight. And again, don't just roll down and roll back. I want you to slowly go back and forth in one position. And if you can't feel much there, get some more weight on it. And if that's not enough, get both your legs on, get heaps of weight on it, all right? And then you can sit in that sort of five centimeter position where you're going back and forth, just slowly. And then you'll find a point where you want to hang out there for a little bit, and I'll do that maybe 10 or 15 passes back and forth and then you move down to the next bit okay and go to the next bit and work on that little bit so just going back and forth as well and just the same as we talked about multi-directional then you can also go okay let's go forward onto the quad where the quad meets that ITB let's go back onto the hamstring the hamstring meets the ITB and work on that so you can roll back a little bit go back and forth and then roll forward through it so you're getting lots of different direction and mobilization through those tissues. Now, the trick is, but do that all the way down to the knee. Then when you get down to the knee, I come forward a bit. You'll get to the point where it's like this, what I call this sort of lateral corner. And it's where the lateral quad meets in with the ITB and you've got your hamstrings all there. It's a, sort of a bit of a mess down there. And I'd get in there and you get to the point where like, well, I can't feel anything down there. Right? Then you get double legs on. And then if you just roll forward a little bit, then you can really feel it right in there, okay? Now if that's not enough, get out your trusty pain ball, which is a lacrosse ball, something like that, and get into the side of that ITB, and then get some weight on it through there. And this is where you'll get some real benefits in that soft tissue release. Trying to get it right in the lateral side of the knee, this is really good for people with those lateral knee problems, especially the wear and tear and the cartilage to try and get those soft tissues loosened up. So get right in there, in that side of the kneecap there, and get back and forth, and just try and loosen up those tissues into that lateral corner. There it is there, and get in and hang out in there. So this is a nice little adjunct to the foam roller. Nice thing to start working on to try and get all these tissues loosened off and we're there. And we talked about glutes before. You can do two things with glutes. You can use the ball, or you can use the, eye, the roller. But with this one, try and go into a bit of 
external rotation of the hip. So what you're targeting is a little bit of glute med as well. So you're, you're going into a glute stretch, roll onto it, and then, then dive into it. And the more you sort of get into that, you'll find that that stretch is really, really effective in loosening up the muscle part of the attachment of the ITB. You go the origin of the ITB up into those glutes. So working in that, or you can get into the ball, and same sort of thing, roll onto that, and find those trigger points where you can, there it is, and get stuck into moving that around until you get some release work on that. So there's sort of three things to work on. You're thinking about the TFL and your glute area, you're thinking about loosening up the high TB, and then you're also thinking about getting right down into all the soft tissue attachments where it comes into the lateral side of the knee, and that's a lot of the forgotten stuff, so don't forget that, and then, See how you go.